Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room energy wars. There's a constant war and battle going on inside your room. It's all distortioned and that's our enemy and that's what we're fighting. So the room is just a container full of energy, okay? Sound fields of energy, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear and floor to ceiling. Floor to ceiling is the one people forget about the most. But there's three sound fields of energy. We have three main surface areas that fight each other. Front wall, rear wall, side wall, side wall, floor to ceiling. Can't ignore them. Low frequency pressure, middle and high frequency reflections. Those are the two forms of energy that we're continually fighting in the room. Small room acoustics is complicated, but if you want to make it simple and, and reduce it to two paradigms that will help you e easily understand, just stay with pressure and reflections. Those are the two things that we have to deal with. Every product in the marketplace is designed to deal with either pressure or reflections. Whether they'll tell you that or not, that's the truth. That's what you're fighting. Some do it a lot better than others. Room only sees the energy. It only sees pressure and reflection. That's all it knows. And it's very binary in its response. It sees energy and it reacts. That's it. It's very predictable, very consistent in its, the, you put X amount of energy into the room, you get X amount of problems. You put two X energy into the room, as long as it's the same frequency response, you might get four X or 10 X worth of problems. It's, it's not linear, but it's linear in the problems that it produces. And that's how you, you're able to go after it with the right kind of technology. What do we get? when we put all that energy in the room. Two things, modes, low frequency, pressure problems, and reverb. So it's pressure and reflections. Underneath pressure, it's modes. Underneath reflections, it's reverb. It's all distortion. Modes, they exaggerate, bass, boom, we've heard that term, and attenuate, you can't hear anything at all. 60, 70 cycles with eight foot ceilings is a real problem. Ask any mix engineer, floor to ceiling. The unforgotten dimension. We should do a video about that. But what does reverb do? Well, it increases speech intelligence or lowers speech intelligibility index numbers. Speech intelligibility is defined as how many words in a 10 word sentence we can clearly hear. We shoot for eight in churches, public events, nine and 10 in critical listening environments, even theaters, home theaters. So it's all about resolution. The last thing you want to do in a critical listening room is have lower re uh, speech intelligibility numbers, index numbers, because of high reverberation. We want to hear more, not less. But it's nice to know what's going on, but we can kind of tell that when we listen to music if we can't hear everything. So direct versus Reflected energy, remember, in any of our two channel systems, it's always this balance, right? This tug of war between the direct straight line energy and all the reflections. It's always that case. Every time a reflection crosses here, it's distortion. Well, that's one reflection. How many are there? Tens of thousands. So it's like death by a thousand cuts. So by the time it reaches your ear. So what do we got to do? We got to slow these reflections down below the speed and threshold of the direct energy. But you have to do it with the right rate and level of absorption. Our foam is designed specifically for music and voice to do just that. Room energy wars, pressure reflections. Break it down into two simple paradigms. Everything else is a subchapter under that. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.